Daggerfall is a masterpiece. If you think Skyrim is immersive, if you think Oblivion is memorable, if you think Morrowind is hardcore, you ain't seen nothing yet, fuckface. Daggerfall has changed my life and opened my third eye. Daggerfall takes place in medieval Britain, where the local counties and microstates inhabiting the area are engaged in a cold war of deceit and trickery in an effort to gain dominion over a long-lost secret superweapon that will allow them to genocide all other factions off of the face of the earth. This, however, isn't really that important. Important. What is important, however, is that you need to scour the land, going door to door, murdering thousands and interrogating anyone you find on the location of Emperor Patrick Stewart's love letters to the Queen of Daggerfall. He also wants you to exercise his boyfriend's ghost or some shit. That's also not important. Whatever the Emperor wants, he can fucking come over and get himself. Because by the time you get to Daggerfall, you're either a homeless nomad who spends his day sleeping and being molested by rats, or worse, Liches in dark, dingy dungeons about three kilometers below sea level, or you're a 200 IQ megalomaniac mastermind bankrupting the entire region and engineering the local politics to your own nefarious gains, giving the finger to the Emperor and his illicit text messages. Daggerfall is the Far Cry 2 of the Elder Scrolls series. You'll spend most of your time hiding in bushes from South African mercenaries, traveling across the country, doing favors as a double agent for various factions throughout, hoping to gain some information on the big bad and his magical MacGuffin. That is, unless you're the other 90% of the Elder Scrolls community. Daggerfall offers unparalleled freedom and scale in its world and how you interact with it. It's pretty impressive, especially for 1996. What's even more impressive is that the entire world map is estimated to be a full-scale size equivalent of Great Britain. Of course, with a map being so big in 1996, most of it is bound to be randomly generated. Towns, dungeons, and quests are all mostly randomly generated. A lot of these quests involve going down to a dungeon or town and finding an item or damsel in distress, or just genociding the area and getting the fuck out. Dungeons in this game are actually pretty complex. Labyrinthine at times. They are absolutely fucking massive, sometimes to a fault, and they can get quite convoluted. What I will say though is that this game can be absolutely unforgiving if you have no idea what you're doing when you start. Chances are you're not gonna have read the instruction manual or the five page guide on how to wipe your ass effectively. Neither did I, which is why I had to resort to learning through a man who I I presume is Todd Howard's lawyer. Zarich Zacharon, I think? Out of fear of him having me sued for not buying the 50th Skyrim re-release, I will reference him to any and all newcomers to the game and thank him for his highly informative videos. If they got rid of the skill system in Fallout 4, just completely gutted it to where special stats are the only thing that matters, I'm gonna hate Fallout 4. <laughs> Anyway, like I said earlier, the game rarely shifts from the dungeon crawl aspect, but there's always a twist where you least expect it. For example, I went down to the local jewellery store to sell off some jewellery I found, or whatever, and the guy recognises me. I fecklessly confirmed that I am most certainly me, and then he accuses me of stealing valuables from him before calling in the guards to bum rush me. I was dazed, confused. I hadn't stolen anything from anyone, and I would never, in all of my life, commit to such a heinous crime. But I didn't even get the first word out before the guards stripped me down to my underwear and booted me to court. Yes, you can go to court in this game, and it's glorious. You can attempt to plead not guilty in front of the judge by either lying or debating the circumstances of your arrest, and your ability to do so is determined by your speech skills and personality. Unfortunately, I created the most unlikable, tongue-twisted buffoon in all of Tamriel, and got sentenced to a year in jail for petty theft. Let's get down to brass tacks. Daggerfall's character creation system is pretty intricate. You have most of the notorious Elder Scrolls races to choose from, minus Imperials and Orcs. And, as to be expected, they all specialize in different playstyles and adhere to different stat boosts that vary from each race. For example, the Khajiit are known to be extremely hardy, intelligent, and agile. As such, they are given a minus 10 stat debuff to agility. You can pick and choose three primary skills 
and three major skills each, and six minor skills for less specialist abilities. The skill progression in this game doesn't make any sense whatsoever, however. Every time I go to sleep or travel to another town, I suddenly go up a level in medicine or whatever. It's gotten to the point where, despite me being a plate-clad daikatana-wielding chad, I have over 70% in my stealth skill for no apparent reason. You can even learn different languages in this game, ranging from Orcish, Daedric, and Dragonish. This doesn't do much, however, as it's only used to tell your respective enemies to chill the fuck out, whereas it's far more fun and profitable just to slot them and their entire family. The universal language in High Rock is violence and buggery. There is also climbing in this game, sure. Backflipping your way through Cyrodiil like a madman in Oblivion is all well and good, but Daggerfall literally allows you to turn into Spider-Man without a second thought. You can even determine your standing with certain demographics throughout the world, and unique advantages and disadvantages for your character. This game even gives you a history log, which details tidbits of your backstory and partially explains how you became so adept in your field. Like how my assassin character learnt how to stab people in the back from a senile old cat lady when they were 10 years old. You'll find it difficult to carry just about anything in this game when you start off, and gold actually weighs you down in Daggerfall. You need more space to store your shit, and a lot of it. This is where horse and carriages come in. Not only can you you buy a horse, but a carriage to go with said horse. The carrying capacity of these carriages dwarf anything you'll ever hope to carry in Skyrim. That is, until you learn about banking. After months of adventuring and mercenary work, my carriage was nothing but a dinner bell for the local muggers and brigands inhabiting the area. I also needed to cash in some checks I had been given from the owners of the local pawn shops who were unable to pay me with gold through the sheer amount of Daedric armor I was pouring into the economy. Thus. I turned to the bank of Daggerfall. They let me deposit all of my gold and cash in my checks, and my carriage was virtually empty after the fact. It is also through these banks that you can purchase properties, or even fucking pirate ships, which I can safely say are fully functional and I have had no issues working with them whatsoever. You can even take out loans in this game. It was also here where I began plotting the greatest heist of all. I would sail over to some shithole country in Hammerfell, then take out a massive loan written to me in check form and then abandon ship all the way back to High Rock and never pay the loans back. I invested in property, my very own pirate ship, language lessons with the orcs, the finest clothing, but even after all of this, I craved for more. I set out to fill the gap in my life that insane wealth and a life of crime could never provide for me, and I'd found just the thing. Daggerfall has about 50 quintillion different factions you can join. In my quest to find a good use for my multi-billion dollar bank account, I had learnt about the House of Debella, a hedonistic sex cult that was accepting new members. I put on my best dress and set out to Menevia, credit card in hand, and barged clumsily into the nearest temple I could find. I donated everything I had to the temple and signed the fuck up as quickly as I could. Unfortunately, I failed to read the small print, and it turned out these alleged sex crazed lunatics were more concerned about the preservations of antiquities and liberal arts projects. Speaking of these factions, Daggerfall has a reputation system where different factions and states will look upon you differently depending on your actions throughout the world and who you align yourself with. The world is very reactive and there's always something new to see and do, quite unlike Skyrim, where everything is set in stone from the moment you hit go. Like how you can save Tamriel from this malevolent world-eating god dragon and reunite Skyrim under the law and order of the Empire, and yet you'll still get the Thieves Guild trying to convince you to play Grand Theft Auto Rift and City Stories. The combat in Daggerfall is not dissimilar from Morrowind, as in, before launching a swing at your enemy, your character rolls a die or flips a coin or some shit, like fucking Two-Face from Batman and determines his murder sprees on cold hard maths. Morrowind taught me map reading and direction following, and Daggerfall taught me maths. Daggerfall's combat is pretty dangerous, and the results will probably end up in you and your opponent trying to tap dance around each other as you keep missing each other's swings. If you actually have any semblance of foresight, unlike me, 
then you'll probably go out and buy or make some potions to take with you into a dungeon to make sure you're always at full health or to prevent you from getting stunlocked by the endless legions of vampire ancients that fester in these labyrinths. If you didn't, well, I hope you packed a sleeping bag, fucko, because it's a weekend in the sewage hotel for you. Well, that's all I really have to say on the game. I would talk about the main quest, but, um... I didn't play it. However, I will leave you one parting gift before I depart. Bethesda have released both Arena and Daggerfall for free on their website, and the version I used to play this game today was the Unity Engine port. I will link both of these in the description, as well as some tutorial I found on how to install it, just in case you're completely in the dark about that. But anyway, I will now take my leave, and give Daggerfall a big fat 9 out of 10. Thanks, and have a great day.